Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We just got home from Trader Joe's. We don't go there very often because it is like an hour, hour, 10 minute ride. But I love Trader Joe's and I try to stock up whenever I do go. So we did do a pretty much two week grocery shop for a family of four. If you're new here, I'm married to my husband and we have two little girls. I am also pregnant, so soon to be a family of five. But right now we shop for groceries for a family of four. My daughter's also in preschool, so I try to stock up for her lunches because I do have to make her lunch. And then I also tried to stock up on breakfast foods, lunches for home, dinner ideas, and things like that. And I also got to stock up on some of their holiday items that were just newly released. And my store was freshly stocked with holiday stuff, so the workers were all telling us to grab as much as we can because they know it's going to sell out soon. So I'm going to share with you all of Trader Joe's holiday items from this year that I grabbed. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more motherhood type videos. We would love to have you stick around and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and we're going to get into this huge Trader Joe's grocery haul. I'm going to go in no particular order and just go through my bags as I would be putting my groceries away. So let's start up here some of these items we have tried before so i picked out some of my favorites and i'll let you know which ones i really like and enjoy and some of them we are trying some new things my girls like these we've had them before the silver dollar pancakes they're just mini pancakes from trader joe's um i got those for breakfast because we like to do quick breakfast in this house especially on school mornings so Usually we do a choice between pancakes, waffles, bagels, things like that. I got some sweet mini peppers, some yogurt pretzels, which will be good to put in my daughter's preschool lunches. This is one of my girl's favorite juices of all time, but especially from Trader Joe's, um, the orange, peach, mango, 100% juice. They love this stuff and they're going to go through this really fast. This was something that I saw that was new. It's a seasoning pack of five. I've tried some of these seasonings like the everything but the elote, chili lime seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning, and those were things I was going to stock up on anyways, but I saw they came in this pack of five and I wanted to try the spicy Italian style and the cocoa cinnamon sugar. My husband thought that would be so good on like buttered toast for the holidays and I'm pretty sure this is like a holiday um, item. So. I thought this was really cute and I grabbed it. I'm excited to try the new flavors. This is also probably holiday cornbread mix. They probably have this all year, but it was definitely out for like Thanksgiving season. Um, and my husband wants cornbread with like his chili and stuff. So I got a cornbread mix. Trader Joe's Salsa Verde is my favorite Salsa Verde. I've tried multiple from different stores, but I always go back to this one for my like enchiladas and stuff and I make like a sour cream enchilada sauce. We just got some olive oil, some regular, oh this is garden vegetable soup. We've actually never tried this before but I've been really into soup for like the colder weather and it's so cold outside so uh, garden vegetable soup. We actually got two of these. One of them is in another bag. This is also something I've tried before. They're sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage sauce. It is so good. I've had it for lunch before but um it's also pretty good for you. This is for their holiday Thanksgiving line, green bean casserole bites. I personally love green bean casserole. It's like a Thanksgiving favorite that my family makes. So these are just like flaky phyllo cups with green bean casserole filling and crispy fried onion pieces. I thought that'd be really good to try for like November season. <laughs> these are also from their holiday line, camembert cheese cranberry sauce phyllo bites. <laughs> so they're like a cranberry and probably like a, I don't know, like a cheese filling. They looked really good. I feel like my husband will like these. These are also something we love in these house. They're vegetable bird's nest from Trader Joe's. Um, they come with like a really yummy sweet soy sauce to dip them in, but these are great for like a side. They're just like vegetables rolled up into like a little um, flaky nest. We do stock up on a lot of their frozen meals. I feel like Trader Joe's has a lot of frozen stuff that's honestly not too bad for you it's a little better for you and I don't feel as guilty eating but they make for quick meals so um this is something we haven't tried their kung pao tempura cauliflower it's like a um I guess like vegetarian option looks really good though I love cauliflower so this is like breaded with a sauce on it and their kung pao sauce I've had before and it's really good just some frozen broccoli, which we always need. Their Kung Pao chicken. This is where I've tried their Kung Pao sauce before. It's kind of like a staple of theirs. 
and their Kung Pao chicken makes for such an easy dinner. We just give it with like a side of rice and some soy sauce on top and it's so good. These I've never had before. They're mini French baguettes, but I thought those would be good for like a side. Um, what's like spaghetti or something looks really good and simple. I got two of their pizzas Trader Joe's pizzas are really good. We always get this one It's their pesto pizza with tomatoes and broccoli and then this one. I've never had before but it's cheese and tomato and this will definitely feed all of us <laughs> because it's a little bit bigger. Another holiday item, they're butter toffee pretzels. They're mini salted pretzels in buttery toffee. I personally love toffee. I was going to grab like just dark chocolate covered pretzels and then I saw these and I saw a lot of people gravitating. So I thought these would be good to try. But these are from their holiday stuff. Some pita chips because I bought hummus. And I like to dip um, pita chips in it. More of their garden vegetable soup. Some apple juice for the girls. I believe these are also from their holiday line. Um, they had like a pomegranate one, which I know was their holiday ones. But these are raisin rosemary crisps. And I thought they would be really good for like, I don't know, a charcuterie board or something like that. So I did pick these up. My husband really likes their tartar sauce. So he said to grab this when we make like fish and have fish night. Two chicken broths for different meals. And like I said, we've been making soup a lot. So I always need chicken broth. And then I grabbed some of their creamy tomato soup. I love their roasted red pepper tomato soup, but I couldn't find it. So I just went with regular tomato soup. And we make grilled cheese and tomato soup quite often in this house for a quick meal. And then these little half moon cookies. These are really good. Um, we always get these when we go to Trader Joe's, but just as like a treat. I love Trader Joe's salad, so I did get a few. I know that this one comes out during the fall time. It's their harvest apple salad kit. And it's got an apple vinaigrette, apple cinnamon chips, cheddar cheese, spring mix, pecans, everything like that. And it is so so good i probably should have gotten two but i didn't want it to go bad so um this one is really really good i have had it last year i got some yogurts for me and my girls um this one is their greek strawberry yogurt non-fat for my girls for lunch i got myself the same one except i just got their coconut cream and then i grabbed a bunch of hummus and dip my kids like hummus and i like hummus so we go through it pretty quickly so i for me i got the spicy hummus dip my kids don't like this one as much because it is a little bit spicier um, and I personally love it and then I also got the roasted red pepper which is what we usually gravitate towards and then I've never tried this but I've heard people rave about it and it's their cashew fiesta dip so it's a dairy-free cheese dip and it's supposed to be like queso but it's cashew so I'm excited to try that with some like chips or something another holiday line item or just a new item that they came out with um, this is their vegan mint and chip and then cookies and cream bonbons so i think they're like little ice cream um balls and then they have like a chocolate coating but they're coconut non-dairy frozen dessert so it's coconut um like ice cream so that makes them vegan and i'm excited to try both of them i think i don't know i do like mint chip but cookies and cream sounds really good and they look delicious another fave of ours um they're almond croissants are so good they are like big pastry croissants and these ones have an almond filling and then we also got their chocolate ones so just for like a weeknight dessert these are always so good and my family loves them my husband grabbed these we've had these before they're really good they're fiocchetti with pink sauce the pink sauce is really good but just for like an easy weeknight meal um or even a lunch and it's like a pasta stuffed with cheese and it has a yummy sauce on it. Trader Joe's oat milk is always a must. It's my favorite oat milk of all time. They're non-dairy oat beverage. And then we got some vegetable fried rice for easy meals. I still have quite a few bags here left, but I'm trying to go through this quickly. Some blueberries, cheddar cheese, just some like staples. I got a lot of things that we just need, so they're not special or unique. These are part of their holiday line. We had these last year and they are really good. They're turkey gobbler wrap. It has roasted turkey, stuffing, cranberry relish, um, some sort of cheese wrapped in a whole wheat tortilla. So yummy. It's basically Thanksgiving in like a sandwich wrap. So um, we definitely do like these. And then for myself, I love these. Um, they have a ton of like burritos and wraps. But these ones are my favorite. They're chicken sausage breakfast burritos. They have like potatoes, eggs, cheddar cheese, 
um, and chicken sausage inside of a burrito. So I grabbed three of those because I love these for breakfast. Some more of my favorite salads. These are just their all the time ones um, that I always get. Mozzarella and tomato salad with balsamic and then their antipasta salad. More basic stuff, some Colby Jack cheese for sandwiches for my kids lunch um, and then some Colby Jack string cheese also for preschool lunch. Obviously a holiday staple, eggnog. I don't really like eggnog. My husband loves eggnog. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Are you guys an eggnog person? I feel like most people either love it or hate it. I got two bags of just fresh broccoli because I make um, like baked broccoli all of the time. So I wanted to make that this week for dinner. Two boxes of just regular mac and cheese. I've never had their mac and cheese before, but I have heard that it's good. And then we got some garlic non breads, which I've also never had from Trader Joe's. Obviously it's the perfect time of year for hot cocoa. So I just grabbed some instant hot cocoa that you just add water to but i have been wanting <laughs> some so i had to grab it while we were there another holiday thing a salty honey toffee milk chocolate covered cracker <laughs> so it's just a cracker covered in all of these goods and even like diced almonds a hint of coffee they look really good so i am excited to try these for sure some flour tortillas these are their home style ones they're really good this is my all-time favorite granola their toasted coconut granola i love this on yogurt or even with like almond milk in a bowl this is a holiday item caramel coffee almonds i think it's pretty new i don't think they had it last year but sounded really good especially if you're a coffee lover like me trader joe's has really good dried fruit too so we always get their soft and juicy mango we go through this really fast i got two bags but it will probably be gone before the week is over, but I do like to put these in my kids lunches or for snacks. Some plain banana chips and then I also got some coconut strips. This I've never tried. I don't know if this is a holiday thing or if they have it out all year, but it's their spiced chai black tea concentrate. So you do mix this with water. You do not like drink it straight. <laughs> so it makes more than just this little bottle, but I loved like my iced chais, especially during the Thanksgiving and winter season. So I'm going to make like an iced chai with this um little bottle but i think it will be really good and a bag of apples just a few more bags i think there's some holiday stuff in here i got some mini marshmallows because i have some things that i want to make for my kids like christmas themed so i got some marshmallows also for our hot cocoa my four-year-old picked these out she's had them before at the trader joe's strawberry yogurt o's they're really good i even like them um but they like them for like breakfast i love having oatmeal for breakfast so i just grabbed some maple brown sugar instant oatmeal some cherry pomegranate toaster pastries for my kids so like trader joe's pop tarts basically some cereal for me their vanilla almond cluster cereal a snack for my kids their granola bites on um, the chocolate chip ones they really like them so um, I'll put these in my four-year-old's lunch or just give it as like an after-school snack. Holiday item, wintry blend ground coffee sprinkled with spices. So this came out for like their winter season and Trader Joe's coffee is so good in general, but I wanted to try out a winter one. They also had a gingerbread spiced one, but I chose this one and I am so excited to try this out. So. I'm excited to see what kind of seasonings are in here. It says zesty red and green peppercorns, whole cloves, and chunks of sweet cinnamon. That sounds really good. I'm going to try this tomorrow morning. Another staple in our house, soyaki. It's basically a mix of soy sauce and teriyaki sauce, so super good for like Asian meal dinners. These are another favorite of mine. I think they might just come out in like the winter, fall, winter seasons. I'm not sure, but they're blue cheese stuffed olives so so good i like to put them on like a cracker they're not very good for you but they taste so good these would even be good on like a charcuterie board and then another thing i haven't tried but i have seen before is their sweet chili sauce so i want to like dip i don't know like some of their frozen something in here i think it'd be really good some chive onion cream cheese for my bagels eggs i don't think we've ever tried these before but they're porcini mushroom and truffle ravioli we grabbed two so that we could feed all of us but um like a stuffed ravioli they look really good and i love mushrooms so sounds like a really good dinner idea i also love their coconut whipped topping you can get this at aldi's as well i think but um i usually get mine at trader joe's and i love to put this on my coffee just to like 
add some sweetness and just make it taste 10 times better. And then finally on to our last bag. I got some mini bagels for my kids and then their sesame bagels, which I love for myself. I got two bags of little mandarin oranges for my kids because they go through these like crazy for breakfast, lunches, snacks. <laughs> so they love these and I always get two big bags. And then we've just got some potatoes because I'm gonna make a um, potato corn chowder soup and some onions for different meals. But that is officially everything that I got from Trader Joe's today. And now we're gonna go ahead and put all these groceries away, which is my least favorite part. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little Trader Joe's haul or big Trader Joe's haul. Like I said, we always do a big stock up since we don't get to go that often, but this will last us definitely like two weeks in our home. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which holiday items you are most excited to try. They had a lot of like peppermint items and things that I didn't grab, but I'll definitely have to go back and grab them next time or as more come out. But again, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you click off of this video. Again, we'd love to have you stick around. I do motherhood, lifestyle, and lots of day in the life vlogs on this channel. And that is gonna be all. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.